Hello, thank you for tuning into this video. I am Bassam, the founder of Cheddar, a dedicated software for film production budget management. Are you tired of juggling between softwares to manage your estimates, actuals, accounting, and payments? We were, which is why we founded Cheddar. Cheddar was created in 2020 as the only solution to offer the film and media industry a dedicated, complete, easy to use software that meets all your financial needs. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily create film estimates, working budgets, and actuals. Also, you'll see how you can handle accounting side and payments, all from one easy to use platform. So let's hop in the demo right now. When you log into Jetter, you are greeted by the Teams view. But before delving into the first estimates, I'm going to show you what the software looks like. So within here, you're going to manage all your budgets from the team view, code list, and list view. You're going to manage the supplier invoices and the expenses from these modules. And the revenue side, we're going to manage the client proposal and invoicing. And finally, the banking, where you can have a view of your uh, finances. But before we delve into that, let's start by doing our first estimate. So from the team view, I'm going to start by creating a project. Let's work on a commercial project together. So in project name, I'm going to choose a jewelry project for one day shoot. In project type, since we're doing a commercial advertising, I'm going to pick advertising production. And then save. Once I saved, I can go into this project to start creating my first estimate. From the plus budget, I have a drop down of different templates that are available. Since we're doing a commercial in the US, let's start by doing an advertising template for US under the AICP general rules. Let's start by filling up a job name. And then here you see the different types of headers that you can fill for this project. The second page allows you to, to fill the production information like the production company and the contact. The third tab allows you to fill the financial parameters like the overhead and margins, the language, and the company logos. Then you'll be able to fill the production notes or the bid letter, where you have different fields representing the different uh, sections of your estimate. And then we're going to save. Once that is saved, uh, a budget is created, which allows you then to go into the budgeting template. As described, what we're going to do is going to do an estimate under the AICP rules. So when you click on go to, you're going to see the different sections and subsections that are available to you under this budgeting template. So for example, here, we're going to fill a couple of lines like the line producer. For example, let's say we have a line producer for one day for 800 USD. You're going to see that Cheddar calculates automatically the fringes. So here, for example, when I collapse, you're going to see the line producer as well as the fringes, followed by the insurance and taxes. So this, this gives you an idea of how easy you can fill lines and budget. I've already went ahead and filled a, a budget and which I'm going to show you right now. So this is a copy of a budget I prepared earlier. And here, while we are collapsed, you can see how you can easily review your estimate from the director and the crew to the equipment and our department, studio, the unit, the vehicles, and everything else related to it. So if you're happy with what you're seeing, you can click on the summary button. The summary button allows you to have a quick overview of your budget and then to export the PDFs or download them. So here I am previewing. So of course here, it's something that you can personalize your logo. You can personalize the headers as we've seen before. And this is a quick summary. Of course, you can add notes and the bid letters. And then the second page shows you the list of uh, the costs. And then the second page goes through the list of the estimated cost lines. And then finally, you get the general terms and conditions. If you're happy with it, you just download the PDF and the PDF is downloaded to your software. So let's say this budget gets approved. This is where usually you have to change softwares to go to your invoicing software to carry on the operations. From Cheddar, you simply click on this small button, which adds this estimate to your proposals. And now we're going to head to the proposals. So the proposal module shows you the list of projects that are approved or under generation. Now that we are in the proposals module, we're going to start by creating a first invoice. I'm going to click on the button generate without PO. It's giving me a validation screen of the budget name, the budget, and the currency. Then I'm going to start by creating client. So here we are budgeting, we are invoicing Uncut Gem represented by Howard. Then I'm going to click on next and decide the no or indicate the number of invoices I'd like to be created by this budget. So I'm just going to say two. And the next page shows you a split of the two invoices. So let's say I'm going to invoice a first part, which is relative to 60%, and then Cherry calculates automatically the remaining number. 
Here's there's a there's small preview button which allows you to preview the invoice before editing it. And here you see the whole draft button that indicates that this is not a finished invoice. If you're ready to create the invoice, you click on the mark as ready and generate. But before that, uh, you can keep in mind that you can add the, have a detailed invoice, so showing you the list of the budgeted cost lines, and you can also add the bid letter to appear on this invoice. So once you're happy with everything, you click on generate, which actually generates uh, the invoice, which you can easily download by clicking the button. Now that the invoice is created, let's go back to our budget and start working on our, our working budget. So I'm going to click on my budget, and right away the platform takes me to the working instead of the estimate. One of the cool features of Cheddar is I can add the column to have for the provisional the same budget, uh, the same columns as the budget. And within one click, I can have to update all the new values. So what Cheddar did is just they copy pasted all the values from my budget into the provisional. And so here I can come and start working a bit more on the values. So for example, changing the one into two, the here and here. What's really interesting about the working uh, column two is it allows me to start creating my purchase orders right away from the budget. So here, if let's say I want to create for my director fee uh, a purchase order. Here we have a small uh, drop down for the supplier names. And once I add the supplier here, I have the PO button that appears. So here I just click simply on generate PO. And as we did for the invoicing, I have a small preview of the drafts. So here it reminds me of the project reference, the date, etc., and the description of the director fee. If I'm really happy with it, I just mark it as ready and generate. Alternatively, we don't really need to create POs because as long as we add the supplier names within the working budget, Cheddar automatically creates uh, cost lines that consolidate throughout the project. Let me show you what I mean by that. So once I exit the quote, I'm going to head to the, mo to the menu and go into the expenses. So here, of course, we have our full list of database of suppliers, but what interests me more is the purchases and POs module. When I click on that, I'm going to see all the different PO numbers and purchases that were created per types of projects. So here I see the project that we're working on currently. This is another project, Nike a Air Force Ones I was working with, etc., etc. And here you see the difference between the purchase orders that were created. So this is the director purchase order and the other cost lines that were added manually. So now that I've showed you uh, where all the purchase orders gets consolidated, let's go back to our budget and I can show you the first reporting that we can generate. So from here, I'm going to go into the code list and go look for my budget. Uh, here I can sort by date, for example, and I click on the budget and it opens right away. Here in the summary tab, we can click on summary and see the first preview of, what are we, of our budgets. We can click on PDF provisional, which generates the first budget versus provisional report. So here I can see the estimate that I created versus the provisional or the working budget. Now that I've done a tour of the working, I can go and click on the actuals. So the actuals give you a, f a vision of four columns. Here the budget or the estimate that we've created, the working budget, here we have the actual and the purchases. In the actuals models, this is where we also see the power of Cheddar. Where this is on other software tools, everything goes dark and you don't have an information of what's happening. Here, all it takes is for you to scroll and you can see here that you have uh, an in real time view of whether this invoice has been received and whether it hasn't been paid. So before we fill the actual purchases, let's go and do that. So let's go to the supplier invoices modules and attach an invoice and see how the actuals get filled automatically. So here from the menu, I'm going to go to the supplier invoices and click on the prepare. The prepare module allows me to prepare and receive the invoices. So here from, from the plus invoice, I'll drag and drop an invoice. As you can see, it's, a, a, it's the PO that we created earlier. So here from the PO module, all I do is going to select from the drop down the number of the purchase order that we filled earlier. And here you see the number gets created, the currency, the supplier, the project, and even the cost line. And so here you see the type of controlling and monitoring that you could have with Cheddar, where uh, the invoice itself is attached to the cost line. So here, all it takes for me is to validate the total amount. So let's say 214.56, and I'll approve this invoice. So once this invoice is, 
is in the software, all it takes me is to confirm it and save. So now this invoice has been moved from the prepare module to what we call export module. So it's from here where you can start for assigning it, for example, or mark it to pay. But before we do that, let's go back to our budget and see what happened. So from here, I'm going to go into the budget and the code list. And from the code list, again, I'm going to look for my budget, which was the truly one day shoot. Instead of going to the workings, I'm going to go to the actuals. And here you see when I scroll to the director fee that the purchase amount was filled automatically by the app. And here we have the check mark on the invoice, which means an invoice was received and attached by the software. So of course, as you keep working on your actuals, well, all these cost lines will be filled and the statuses will be updated. Now I'm going to take you to see the last uh, remaining module, which is a dashboard. So here from the dashboard, of course, you're going to have access to the basic overview of your company, your monthly cash, the paid receivables, the paid and lost, and revenues and profits. But also you get to have a cash view per project. So here, for example, if I take a look at our project, here you have a small button that allows you to see what is paid, what is spending, and what is to be invoiced. So here, for example, you can see the, um, the total amount of the um, uh, what we previously created, which were the purchase orders, but also here you see the invoice that is pending that is yet to be paid. On the revenue side, you can also see the first invoice that got issued, but also the remaining amount that is to be invoiced. And here you get a full view on the cash flow of your working cap. So this is the amount that got received, this is the income that is outgoing, what's still to be received, and here is what to be issued. So this concludes our demo. Thank you for taking the time to have this tour with me. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us as we would love to add you to our growing community of 2,500 users. Bye-bye.